about it, but when you have the severe thunderstorm warning, that can be just as bad as a tornado oh. warning. Yeah, everybody thinks about just tornadoes, but straight line wind damage can be very catastrophic to homes, buildings, and you know personal vehicles as well here, Brooke. And uh, along with all that, we could be talking about large hail, and of course that can bring a lot of extensive damage. And the one big, uh, biggest killer actually with severe weather, believe it or not, is flooding. So it's pretty important, even with heavy rainfall, you're just riding this out and staying inside. This is actually a look at these thunderstorms underway right now. Not severe, luckily. We could take a nice deep breath, but take a look. There's a lot of lightning strikes with these. They're basically well energized, and most of the heaviest thunderstorms right now in Kentuckiana are staying to the east and northeast. From Newcastle and Henry County towards Shelbyville right now as we speak. Take a look at downtown on the east end of town as well. Mainly just some steady rainfall. There's a lot of lightning with these, especially as they track their way to the east, but our friends in Oldham County towards Eminence and Newcastle also picking up some thunderstorms. And as we bump our way up to the north and east from Cotton to Versailles, even North Vernon also picking up some pretty standard showers and storms right now. Again, no severe weather for the time being. We're watching it pretty closely. One more area I want to mention as well. This is down towards Washington County and Marion County by Springfield itself. Uh, Danville is going to be picking up these storms here pretty soon. So as we get into closer to the one o'clock hour and beyond 1230, we're going to briefly dry out in Kentuckiana, but more storms are likely later on this evening. Temperatures in the 70s in most spots, 70 at Bowman Field. Uh, we're sitting in the low 70s in Louisville. One thing I want to mention though, it is sticky outside. Dew points are surging into the tropical range in a couple of areas, the low 70s, if not in the middle to upper 60s. And you get dew points over 60 to that time 65 degrees. That denotes some very humid air mass underway. And speaking of the humidity, we're going to have plenty of it both today and tomorrow. That's going to be energizing the atmosphere for additional thunderstorms. Warm, isolated storms through the course of the day today. A few storms into the course of the night tonight, mainly before midnight. Now, the biggest risk will be from 4 o'clock to about 10 p.m. tomorrow. That's when a severe weather outbreak is generally in the forecast. Now, today, again, isolated, strong to severe storms not out of the question later on today, especially into the evening. Tomorrow's risk, though, more so into the mid-afternoon to late afternoon and into the evening. We could be looking at a couple of thunderstorms producing tornadoes and the chance for flooding rainfall tomorrow and some strong wind. Now, here's the rest of today. A couple of sporadic little storms could be popping up through the course of the afternoon, but the main focus will be this evening. Notice a line moving in later on closer to about 10 p.m. and beyond of some additional showers and storms that could be turning severe. Notice around midnight here in Louisville, these storms could be po popping up and again later on tonight quieting down. Tomorrow, the main focus is going to come into play right around 3 to about 5 o'clock into the afternoon. Models are lining up to show all these reds and oranges, which denotes very heavy rainfall, some large hail, strong wind with these storms, and there could be a tornado or two. Keep in mind, another complex could be moving through right around sunset tomorrow evening before we finally look to kind of quiet down after midnight in Louisville. Some additional storms down to the south, but it's going to be pretty important. You do stick with us for further updates, and I do want to mention rainfall tallies through the evolution of this storm system could be clocking in between two to four inches, which means flash flooding could be a bit of a hazard. There's our seven day forecast finally quieting down on Friday and some chances for showers late in the day on Saturday. Please stick with us. We have more coming up.